Hi there, my name is Taro Iwamoto. I am a Feldenkrais practitioner and the movement coach. And in today's video, I'm going to show you one exercise, uh, which is actually a transitional movement uh, to help improve your balance and the coordination. And in my previous video uh, on the, uh, it's called the benefits of the sitting on the floor, I talk a lot about uh, why it is a good idea to start practicing sitting on the floor or spending more time on the floor. And, um, and because there's so many benefits and it, it creates more mobility and uh, it helps improve the flexibility, mobility, and then the strength and uh, all together and, and coordination. And for that reason, if you have been watching uh, some of my videos on my channel, and you probably noticed that there are a lot of exercises that I do on the floor and more so than in standing. Uh, standing on feet, right? And but, anyways, uh, so I'm going to show you just one exercise and uh, one movement training that is going to help improve mobility and coordination and balance. So here we go. Really simple. In starting, sitting with the long, uh, sitting with the both legs straight, and then you're going to transition to sitting sideways. Okay, so I'm gonna go my, to my right side. Here. And then reversing that movement and going back to sitting with the legs long. Okay. May seem it's not big deal, just sitting, long leg, and side sitting. Okay. I'm gonna break it down. There's a lot going on here, and the key is the sequence of the movement, and then you are going to improve the coordination. Otherwise, you're gonna make a lot of effort. You're gonna strain your back, you're gonna strain your hips, or somewhere else. So the sequence could be, um, you can start from the head down or you can start from the legs up, but I'm gonna do from the legs up just to show you an example that you can see um, what I mean by the sequence. So I'm starting to turn my legs. You see, starting to turn my legs. Okay, and then as the legs are turned, what follows the next? My pelvis is going to turn too. Legs turn, my pelvis turn, and then what's gonna follow next? My spine, my ribcage. Here, and then everything is starting to turn in the same direction. And then as we're turning, and it's starting to bend my knees. Here I am. Okay, I'm sitting in sideways now. This is a side sitting from a long sitting to side sitting. And then I'm going to reverse that sequence. Again, I could go from the top down or the bottom up. I would do with the bottom up. Starting to lengthen the legs and it's starting to turn the legs and it's starting to turn the pelvis and the spine, ribcage and the head so you can watch. All right, now I'm back to sitting with the long leg. Make sure again, slowly turning. Legs, pelvis, spine, ribs, and then the head. Legs, pelvis, spine, and then the head. Then I can do it fast. Okay. And just for fun, I'm going to change the order of the movements and the order of the sequence. So instead of starting from the legs up, I'm going to start from the head and down. Okay. I'm going to start to turn my head, then moving downwards. So head, turn, shoulders, turn, ribs, spine, turn, pelvis, turn, legs, here. Then we're going to do the same thing with the head, shoulders, and back. Head. Okay, so you really have to take your time to, to 
to really know how you're moving, how you're moving, and how the movement is flowing from one part of the body to the next. When that sequence breaks, and that's when you increase an effort, and that's when you strain your body. So um, if you can take your time and then improve the sequence of the simple transitional movement from sitting with the legs long and into the side sitting and coming back, if you do improve that, and guess what else is going to improve? You will find that you're probably going to feel a lot more comfortable in your body, your back, your hips. And then you also do feel that how you feel more mobile and more flexible afterwards. So take your time and give it a try and have fun with this exercise. All right. And once you learn that, you can start to incorporate that exercise and the movement during the daily, uh, during the daily activities and during the day, um, everyday movements. When you're sitting on the floor, watching the TV, reading the books, and then you can use this movement to transition from a sitting long leg to the side sitting and backwards. Okay. Thanks for watching. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, and please do, and I uh, appreciate that. And if you have any comments, questions, and leave your comments and questions in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.